Thus far, we've created interfaces that might have several of the same view. In this case, we have six buttons. Maybe this is a menu page. And we gave attributes for each one of those buttons, including the background color, and set all those to red. But you're reviewing the project with your client, and the client says, you know, I don't like the red buttons. I think I'd like them to be blue. We come in and change each of these to be blue. And that wouldn't be a horrible thing with these six buttons, but let's say you have 20 buttons. Or think about our chessboard, we had 64 image buttons. And maybe we want to change the background colors of all of those. That takes some time. So I want to show you how you can use resources to your advantage to be able to change things very quickly. We have two types of resources, static resources and dynamic resources. Static resources, once they are set, cannot be changed. It's, they're not reevaluated. Dynamic resources, though, are constantly being reevaluated. Let's take a look. I added another XAML content page called static.xaml, of course, with its CS code behind. It's basically the same thing. I added another button called btn get color, but I also added a resource. So I created a content page.resources tag and a closing tag. And inside that, I set color x key equals my button color that's the name of my my resource and then i set its value to red and then in the code of the buttons i changed the back color to use a static resource named my button color and that's in brackets and enclosed in quotes so now when the client says you know i don't think i like the red can we change it to blue we can come up here and change it to blue and they all change to blue because these are in essence bound to that static resource color. We're going to talk about binding down the road. We can bind to all sorts of things. We mostly bind to data. Now I, I created this button says get my button color and clicking it, it shows what the color is of the resource, my button color. In this case, there's no red, no, no green, but all blue and the alpha is totally opaque. And I have a button clicked event for each one of these to click on a button says which one you clicked on so here is my code it says which button was clicked and then the get color event which is this last button you know something getting the color of this of the resource my button color you can bring that to a string you'll see another reference here to change color and that's going to come in from some image buttons I'm going to paste into my XAML code here. So I'm going to add those image buttons. They all reference that change color. And if I click a change color button, nothing happens. And nothing happens because I set those background colors up as being static resources. And so once they are evaluated, they cannot be changed. They're never reevaluated again until the app is is re-executed. I'm going to stop my program, make a slight change to the code, and I'm going to change this btn get color from static resource to dynamic resource. Now let's walk what that one change makes as, as I rerun the, the app. So my buttons are still all blue. If I click this get my button color, I see that, yes, the my button color is blue. But now if I click a button, it changes the color and I can click on the get my button color and see that it has indeed changed. There's no red, no blue, but there's green here. So the my button color resource is changing, but it's only changing the button that has it set dynamically and not statically. That is the difference between static and dynamic resources. Now, one other thing is I can go into the code and I can change colors programmatically. So here I've set up an array of buttons called my buttons and I gave it those six buttons. And maybe I want to change both the width and the height, but I also want to change the back color and make those all green. I'm not changing the resource. I'm overriding that resource by applying a new background color. So it's a little bit different, but it's another way to change some of these things on the fly. I'm gonna stop my app and rerun it since I changed the code. And I want to reinitialize 
everything. So I reinitialized everything turned green and notice my button here is blue because that is the static resource that is set. Just change the colors on the first six. And again, I can still change that dynamic resource. And it only changes it for that button. Notice also these buttons now are a little bit uh, wider and a little bit less tall because we had changed in the code the height request and the width request. That's the difference between static and dynamic resources. In the next video, we'll look at how to apply styles, both implicit and explicit. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.